Shortcuts are meant to get you where you're going a whole lot faster, but sometimes it's great to just put on the brakes, take a deep breath, and savor a piece of Oregon that may offer you a bit of sweetness. Hi there, I'm Grant McComey, your host for Travel Oregon's Grant's Getaways, and this week we head down a trail to enjoy some sweet chocolate. Come along as we visit the Bridgetine Monastery Gourmet Confections. Winter's arrived across Oregon's Willamette Valley with a hold on the landscape that seems firm and lasting. Fresh snowfall lights up the scene near the small burg of Amity. While indoors, the sweet life is heating up. In a copper kettle, where milk, sugar, and butter make a thick slurry that reaches 245 degrees. This here will be chocolate fudge with nuts. Right now it's boiling hot, so it's handled with care. And that's one type of chocolate, and then the other. It smells good, doesn't it? It always smells great in the kitchen of the Bridgetine Monastery Gourmet Confectionery, where a half dozen monks rely on time-tested recipes for seven flavors of fudge. Special equipment provides a one-pound pour before Brother Bernard applies the monastery signature swirl. That's our trademark. Everything we do is hand swirl. The Bridgetines are the only monastic community in Oregon that makes candy, and it is delicious. That's when it's the best, when it's warm. It's good. And not just fudge. Let's see if Brother Martin's over here. But a one-of-a-kind hand-cranked truffle press pushes out creamy chocolate that is the hand-rolled center for truffles. And those are ready to go. The monastery produces a dozen different truffle flavors, and business is booming at this busiest time of year. The Bridgetine chocolates are shipped across the country and as far away as Europe and South America. But spokesman Brother Stephen is quick to point out the sweet treats provide the monastery and its very charities a self-supporting business, but it is not their most important business. We're in the business of praising God. We're monks. Our life is to be centered around the praise of God. The chapel, the candy store, and the monastery's grounds are open to the public seven days a week. A wonderful place to stop in and sample and perhaps buy at a place where they like to say good addictions can start small. You go out there and you smell this wonderful aroma. And who has given you these gifts? God. That's what I like about the candy. It's, you know, can be centered on God still and do your work out there. Peace and serenity are the bywords at the Bridgetine Monastery, as well as that sweet chocolate. Something you might want to check out. And we have all the details, directions, and the contact information so you can do just that right here on the Travel Oregon website. Until next week, do get out here and explore the great Oregon outdoors, especially if you have a sweet tooth. For Travel Oregon, I'm Grant McComey.